Hello everyone, in this video we're going to explore an interesting SQL injection method to retrieve the flag for our first tier 1 challenge appointment. Although I went down the wrong rabbit hole, I'll be sharing my findings with you all, so let's dive in. As usual, this video is uh, just for educational purposes and it's not meant to encourage any illegal activities. First off, as usual, we will run the ping and then map commands to have a look at what services the host might be running. I will also be speeding up the process as usual so that the nmap scan takes less time. Here on screen we have the output of the nmap scan and we can see that it is running an Apache server. This is where I went down the wrong path. I have downloaded the setlist from GitHub by Daniel Misseler. I'm pretty sure I have destroyed his name, so apologies for that. And uh, we'll be using these two enumerated directories for this website. I have used the git clone command here. This is uh, used to clone repositories onto any machine. I will be using GoBuster to help with this process. This is a tool that we have used in the previous tier. And I will feed it the list that I, we have downloaded just now. I went through some found pages and tried to find out if there was something which we could exploit, but it seemed like it was all in order. Then I have cheated a little bit by looking at the hack the box first question. Then it occurred to me that it might be something related to an SQL injection. An SQL injection is a type of uh, web application vulnerability that allows attackers to inject malicious SQL statements into an input field and manipulate a web application's backend database. This can lead to unauthorized access to sensitive information or even the complete compromise of a system. I will be using the username field and at the end I will be adding a hash. This would result in any code after the hash to be ignored, as it will be commented out. As you can see on screen, I will try various usernames. The username inserted here will need to match the username in the database. So we will try the default ones as usual, admin, administrator, and so on. As you could see, I managed to log in to the system with the admin username without knowing the password. Now that we have successfully retrieved the flags and bypassed the authentication, let's move on to the next steps and answer the questions that are waiting for us on the portal. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. The most common type of SQL vulnerability is SQL injection. PII stands for Personally Identifiable Information. This question, I have uh, no idea, so I'm just going to Google it really quickly. We can take the answer from here, which is A03-2021 injection. and just paste it in here. For this question, we can refer to the nmap output. The standard port for HTTPS protocol is 443. A folder in web application terminology is known as directory. The response code that is given when a page is not found is 404. The switch that we need to use for GoBuster is DIR. As I have mentioned earlier, the single character that can be used to comment out the rest of the line in uh, MySQL, it's hash. The first word we could see on the web page is congratulations, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. And once that's done, 
we can just copy and paste the flag into the last question well done we have successfully finished the, the appointment challenge here i hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative stay tuned for more videos on tier 1 challenges and other exciting topics in the world of cybersecurity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next video.